Hey there, I'm Soumya. Welcome back to this channel. So um, this is probably the first video of the Solidity playlist probably. And the goal of this series is to basically share what I'm learning right now so that if you are learning too, you can just use this playlist as a reference. And also it, I'll be solidifying my learning, which is pretty cool. So as this is the first video, uh, we will be just uh, seeing where you can write Solidity online, compile it. Uh, see things happen and also i'll show you how you can compile a solidity code uh, writing on your vs code and compiling on your local computer right um so we'll just install a bunch of things on a simple hello world so yeah let's get into the video um okay so before we start uh let's just know a bit about this language okay so uh solidity is a uh, object oriented language and by the way i'm in the docs of solidity so uh, it's an object oriented language uh, like c++ java um, like you know and uh, it's a high level language obviously not low level and um, it's um, uh, it's a curly bracket language uh, like javascript and uh, as it says it is influenced by c++ python and javascript and it is uh, mainly uh, designed to run on the ethereum virtual machine and um, it is statically typed right so it has types like integer and string and those stuff because uh, unlike javascript which does not have anything because it's a dynamically typed language right so uh, yeah solidity is a statically typed language it has various types which is great and it supports inheritance because it's an object oriented language and yeah it has libraries and complex user defined types and stuff okay um, so yeah that's basically it it's um, a language uh, made specifically for use for the ethereum virtual machine uh, so now i'll just show you how you can write solidity on an online uh, editor right uh, which is remix right so uh, to just go to remix we'll just start from the first right so remix if you search uh, okay there are a lot of, of remix songs now but yeah we'll go to the this remix project right um id and community cool so this is its home page and you, you just need to tap on the mix ide and yeah now now the id is loading let me just yeah it's okay um so yeah this is the ide uh, and uh, so yeah this is welcome to remix uh, so this is how you will get started this is what yeah, it will be shown okay so this is the default workspace right uh, it has uh, this is how this is a normal structure of uh, you know if you write a, a solidity uh, program this is a normal structure you have to write actually the tests for it you have to write the any script that you want to run and mainly here in the contracts folder you store the contract but uh, we'll not get into th these things because we'll, we're learning from the scratch i'll just delete the scripts and tests too um which is cool so now we have uh, this just this folder and we'll make a new file here right let's let's call it hello um, dot soul so so every um solidity file has the extension dot soul right so that's what you need to write and uh, enter and okay cool we are on the editor okay so before you write any solidity contract you have to men uh, mention a license that it uses right so uh, I, I found out here that uh, to, as the source code of a, of a contract needs to be public, right? It it, it uh, touches some legal problems, right? So uh, so that's why Solidity needs you to basically mention the license that you have. So always you're just gonna write this before you write any contract on the top. So it's the SPDX license. Um, I think it's small license identifier. Uh, and uh, you have to give MIT and if you remember if you have uh, uh, if you push your codes on github uh, you also put, uh, it also asks for a license MIT it has a license right so uh, I guess it's just um, the codes that you know uh, are to be available publicly have need to have a license right so uh, something like that but yeah pretty cool right so that's you know, something you have to always mention before you write a contract and then uh, you have to mention the solidity version because it's a new language uh, it's an active development so you have to mention the uh, version you are uh, running right so this is how you do it pragma solidity so i'll say 0.8.9 right so that's how you mention the um, version you are uh, run trying to run your program on 
and uh, then you mention a contract right so you then you start writing a contract uh, how do you write it so you say contract um, the name of your contract let's say our name is hello world right um, and yeah that's it basically then you just open this thing and then here you can write your contract the contents of it right? um, so obviously we will be getting into functions later but uh, to write something in the contract I'll just uh, write a function here so basically this is just you can see this is how you write a basically a function in solidity solidity the function the function keyword then the name of the function let's say um, hello um, let's just say hello and um, it will take nothing and it will return and uh, it is a public function right anyone in the public can access it so we mentioned public and it returns us a string right so let's say string and it will be on the memory um, please uh, don't care about why I'm using memory and stuff or this in public and stuff just uh, we'll learn this later but now we're just gonna write a hello world program right so let's just say it returns the string hello world right cool um now i'm just gonna save it control plus s and it shows me something every an error we have so let's just see what is that uh, this is this already compiler as you saw when i hover so it says that um okay so here the compiler is 0 0.8.7 we're using 0.8.9 so it's uh, showing some error right so let's just change it to 8.9 and see uh, if we still get an error or not okay uh, I, don't, I don't think we have an error so let's just go ahead and compile hello.soul and we have some warnings so, uh, according to this it wants this to be a pure function so don't care about what pure is just let me write it here okay i uh, will learn all of this later now if i just compile it uh, we have one error still i just did a spelling mistake so that's my bad uh, now if we compile i think yeah cool so this actually got compiled and uh, it shows us a tag right now uh, what we are going to do is so basically when you compile a solidity program you 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 have a byte code that is generated so i've copied it from here if i just paste it the byte code so this is the output of this program right um so this is actually used this byte code is used to deploy this contract on the ethereum virtual machine right uh, and if i see the abi uh, so this is how ABI looks ABI is actually the we see the ABI right so these are some outputs of this if you compile a solid program these are some outputs you get right and ABI is actually called the application bytecode interface so if I just print it this is how it looks so basically it, what it shows is that if you are about to uh, like if I'm a person I don't know what uh, you know this uh, or a programmer like and I, I have been given this okay I need to uh, you know talk to this uh, contract which is which lives in the ethereum virtual machine EVM uh, like how do I uh, like what what does even if uh, like how do I know uh, what it, it it can return me what functions does it have right so ABI uh, sort of tells us uh, what it has so if you see this uh, it has a this object in this array it has an object called uh, hello which refers to this this function we have right and it outputs us a string right so it outputs us a string um, uh, outputs us a, a string type and it, it does not take any input as we are not giving it any input and it's pure function as I mentioned don't care about what it what it is and it's a, a function type thing right so it's a function right so that's um, so that's what uh, ABI tells us right so if it had more components it will be show it is it will be a big ABI but it's a simple program so it is uh, describing this part of this contract because that's the only part of the contract we have right so yeah that's something um, that's the ABI and bytecode and uh, we'll also be compiling this on the uh, our local machine after this so uh, yeah that'll be pretty cool um, so now um, let's just deploy it uh, here right how do you deploy so if we go to this right uh, let it be whatever it is right uh, it is it has a remix has a virtual machine of its own just tap the deploy button here it will deploy it for you right so 
uh, it will say uh, there is a tick mark from this account to uh, this constructor and uh, it is deployed right so if you see this um, thing here right um, um, deployed contracts you'll see now hello world this contract and if you open it you'll see this hello right and it's a button because it's a function and it returns or something right so if i just click here right you'll see we get the string hello world because we are returning it from here right so that's um so uh, exactly like this if uh, what what it basically means is that if someone can uh, on the outer world wants to interact with this contract he will be able to call this hello and uh, get the hello world right um so yeah you can use um remix right this is how you can use remix uh, to uh, basically write your solidity programs so i'll just change this name to let's say ss right uh, and uh, now let's say you just you love working online and you just want to close this uh, program and but you need to also work on it again right so you just down uh, press this button and you download the workspace now it will be stored as a zip uh, in your download uh, downloads right um so like this okay so it will be stored and uh let's say you just you know want to uh again work on it uh, so yeah so i'm so i'm on remix again and i don't have the project i was working on so what you need to do is that you have downloaded the thing right so you just press on this restore button and it will tell you to choose a zip file right so i'll just and it, you'll see the ss this in your workspace we had all these things but we want to import ss so what we'll do is we just import ss and boom uh, we have the uh, contract you're working on again right so this is how basically you work with remix i just wanted to show you because uh, it can be confusing to know how this works now let me show you how you can run these things on your local computer right so uh, a prerequisite for this is that you need to have node.js installed in your computer if you haven't uh, you can just go to this site and you, you can download the um, uh, lts or um, the stable version from the node.js and uh, then you're good to go so then what you just need to do is that you just need to go to your command prompt right um let me just open mine so um you just need to go to the command prompt and you just need to type um npm install d dash g because i want to install it globally uh, and not just a specific space so um and you just need to do soul c right and this will install this solidity compiler um for you right and yeah boom it's done uh, now uh, to just check that uh, it is correctly installed you can just write soul c js uh, and help right now if this this is what you see uh, you are good to go so i just opened a new folder on our vs code right uh, so here i will write my first solidity program right so let's say uh, i'll also name it hello dot soul as i said dot soul is the um you know the the extension for solidity right and i think there must be some extensions too for this uh let's just see control window shift control shift plus x uh, and if i just do solidity uh i think there must be some things for solidity uh, yeah you, you go go ahead and download this because it will help in syntax highlighting for solidity and uh, basically vs code will know that okay you are writing some language solidity right or you're writing solidity so it will highlight syntax accordingly right just go ahead and download this and i see i have also installed this you can go ahead and do this too but uh, this is the main one okay cool so now our file is ready let's just write the same code that we had written uh, you know on our uh, so i'll just copy it and uh, i'll just paste it here and yeah that, that's go to view and tap this terminal to open your terminal right to 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 compile any um solidity file what you just need to do is now sol sol cjs uh, dash dash bin uh, so bin is basically it will give you the byte code right 
so the we saw the two things right uh two things uh, two main things that's already compiled to one is api and that is the binary file or the byte code so this is the byte code the numbers right so uh then the file name of your file and you just tap enter and it will now start compiling and there you go um we have a dot binary file and if you just open this this is the number right um that we get right so this is used to deploy this uh, contract on the evm right now let's just knowingly do a mistake let's just remove this let's see how the how it gives us error so i'll just do it again and um there you go it just shows me uh, you know, something's wrong there is no uh, ex uh, semicolon so everything's working pretty fine and uh, let's just try to do abi here right to see the abi like the interface like what does this con contract you know give us sorry i forgot to save um let's just do this um um okay so we have a dot abi file now right okay if i open this you'll see this json thing right this is the exact thing we we saw in remix id right so everything's working fine really um, now you know that how how to compile a solidity program uh, in an online ide and also on your local computer and that's the goal of this video so that's it for this video and uh, do let me know in the comments uh, where you were able to run your first program and uh, did you face any difficulties or anything you can just share it in the comments and uh, any any topic that that is bugging you on solidity uh, that you want me to make a video in um so yeah that's that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day and keep building